All right, so not here today. I'm. I hope this is the last video I have to make about me going and hanging artwork for a minute because of all the craziness. So, surface design. You guys are working on your pop-up books now. For the pop-up books, you should have already gone through all the magazines to find all the pictures that you guys are going to use. And we're at the point now where you're starting to subtract sections of the image that you don't need. Now, because I'm not because I'm not here. You don't have access to the exacto knives. However, you do have scissors in the bucket over there. Make sure all my scissors go back. Uh, and really, you're subtracting the larger sections that you're going to use from the smaller sections. From the smaller sections that you're pulling from. So for this piece, and this is what I want you guys to be looking at now, uh, I have a picture of Jon Snow, and he's on a wooden board and I have some wood backing on this image. Now I'm going to use the wood backing on here when I subtract Jon Snow off of the board that I can use the wood paneling from the other picture to act as my filler to the board that he was laying on. So as I have the perspective in the pop-up book, I can see those levels illustrated in the image. Now, after you've got as much as you can done on that, I also have these smaller square pieces of paper. They are four and a half by six piece of paper there on the uh, cutting board. You're going to use that and the calligraphy pens to work on your story. So you've already written your story on the worksheet. You're going to now start transferring those the story elements out to those individual sheets of paper so that you can have a finished book for the rest of the piece. All right, so two things to get done. Make sure you have all of your, your magazine pieces and subtract out sections that you need and don't need. And then working on the calligraphy elements of your book. And other than that, I'll see you guys next class.